Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review Season 3 of The Cuphead Show on Netflix, and this is based off of the phenomenon that was Cuphead, that game that came out, which I'm sure I mentioned this in my other reviews of the other seasons, but my brother and my close family friend John were huge fans of this and playing this, and I was excited when the show came out, and happy to say in the third season, it's still going strong. This third season's made up of 11 episodes, and you have those episodes that have their little isolated story in them, and some of them are more interesting than others. They have some fun holiday-themed ones, like Cuphead and Mughead going out and trying to get a tree. That was a fun little adventure that they go on. We get to see the them dealing with um, Elder Kettle and his weird shenanigans at certain points. But what really stands out in this season, there's a couple of specific episodes. The first one, The Devil's Revenge, where we come off of a big cliffhanger. Mughead's been kidnapped by the devil at the end of the second season. And this return episode is fantastic. And him dealing with all the nonsense in hell and Cuphead trying to get him and dealing with Elder Kettle. And it's such a fun time. It's such an inspired episode. And there's a lot more spotlight on the devil in this particular season. And he has his fun shenanigans. He has a whole entire episode of Very Devil Christmas. Where he becomes Santa. And it's such a fun time because it's so subversive of what you expect a holiday episode with the devil's going to be. And then the last two episodes really build off of Miss Chalice, and we get her backstory, which I thought was interesting and engaging, and then leading up to, you know, what Miss Chalice's real motivations are, and her dealing with the, um, the devil, and Mughead and Cuphead. Miss Chalice was a great addition in this particular season, getting some highlights here, and you know, you get the best character, King Dice, back. Um, Wayne Brady is fantastic and gets his time to shine in some of these episodes. And this show is just ridiculous. It's over the top. It's zany. Most of the episodes are around 15, 16 minutes. You have some longer ones like the A Very Devil Christmas was like 30-something minutes. But I just think this show is a blast. There's so much fun to be had watching this. And... You know, Mughead and Cuphead are fun foils for each other, and the other supporting characters are just so lively and fun to watch, and the shenanigans they get into with this beautiful vintage animation style is just an absolute delight, and I eat up every episode. My wife and I love watching this together. But those are my thoughts on the Cuphead show season three. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some TV. But thank you, as always, for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.